back. So, how went your first real contract? From what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. It's Cicero. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. Such a humble servant. I will speak to you. For you are the one. You who shares my iron tomb. Journey to Wallenbrook. Speak with Armand Mortier. <gasps> Explain yourself! She spoke to you? You expect me to believe that, Sorry. right? There is no listener! <laughs> She... she said that. She's back. Our lady is back. Ah! She has chosen you! <laughs> when I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. Are you all right? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. No, oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well. I have. <laughs> you reek of death, my friend. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. Your first target is an orc bard named Lerbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Is the line for my next performance starting already? Hit it, mm. DJ. All right. How about this? Shadows creep, and and phantoms leap. A man's got, he's got scared, and the demons dared to uh, visit upon him, all which they feared. Brilliant. I know. It's a gift. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing! <laughs> <laughs> you around we need to talk if the night mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact we'd be mad to ignore it Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary talk to this Armand Motier and let's see where all this leads hmm? By the almighty divines, you've come. You've come. I have. Come. It worked. You have opened the door to darkness, little man. Oh, I know. I know. Please, allow me to state my business. The real reason I'm speaking of a confront in the bowels of this detestable crypt. For I seek the assassination of... The Emperor. Here, take these to your... Uh, superior. Rexus, the items. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. 
As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim. <laughs> You're damn right we'll accept it. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? Bring Mallory the Amulet. This far. What does the Brotherhood need? Let's see. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member who we'll have a small fortune. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business. Buy it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. Good, you're back. Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Montier, you naughty, naughty boy. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, Stab the bride. The target's name is Vittoria Vici. Brother, I've been waiting for you. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. Sleep rather soundly for a murderer. Son, planting false evidence, destroying an innocent man's reputation. I now declare this bridge open. Keep back, citizen. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. What? Filthy assassin! At last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero has... Truly, a sanctuary to call home. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. You need to leave. I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. The Keeper is a sacred position within the Horses here.
No! Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin.